All right, guys, and welcome to the stream. How's it going? I have returned. Hope you're all doing well. Had a Merry Christmas. Almost Happy New Year. And uh, currently having a good holiday. Unless you're back at work and got to work all the way through. Then uh, good luck to you. Uh, and tonight we're going to be playing Shogo Mad, a.k.a. Shogo Mobile Armor Division. This came out in 1998, developed by Monolith Productions, uses the Lithtech engine. This is a mech style, on foot mech first person shooter, um, based on an anime of the same name, Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Uh, typical mech anime sort of deal. Um, the game has pretty clean graphics, plain but clean, uh, unique graphics. Um, uses a critical hit system in which you can take down targets immediately, but the enemy also uses the same sort of critical hit mechanic. So, I guess it's sort of a kill or be killed situation. You also get robot teammates, and other than that, there's the whole kind of anime plot, I guess, uh, which, which sort of comes of these types of games that is, like, based off a comic. Um, I think it might have been a series as well, but uh, it's a fun game. I've streamed this before. Uh, originally played it on the Mac. But two years ago, I, I streamed this game. Zrudge, welcome to this holiday. Welcome to the stream. I was about to say, welcome to the holidays. Welcome to the holidays also. How you doing, man? And, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry one day off Christmas. Um, I've been swamped with Christmas things. And, uh, sort of just, sort of just resting as well, but, uh. Hope you're well, man. We're just about to get started here with uh, Shogo Mobile Armor Division, if you're familiar with this game. Uh, it's pretty fun. Um, something to kick off my return. It feels like it's been forever since I've been on here, so i got to sort of learn the ropes again. Alright, I'm going to turn that sound down for sure. And let's boot it up. We'll see what the volume's like. Got an intro. Microids. Microids. And here's our Monolith Productions logo here. And then we got an anime-esque style intro. Lith.com Here we go. Lithtech engine. A powered Lithtech engine game. Shogo Mobile Armored Vision. Ah. I'm looking forward to playing this again. Um, probably only be able to do part one tonight, as noted in the title, but... How's it going, Combo? Merry Christmas to you too. Hope you had a good one, dude. We're about to get into some Shogo Mad here. If y'all have played this game, Braid, welcome to the stream. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. I freaking love this game, dude. And the best thing about it is it's not too long, either. Yeah, I've... 
I've been hung up on Christmas stuff, man. I'm just so tired. <laughs> I just want to chill. It's quite a long intro. But yeah, we can be a mech or we can be a dude on foot. The game kind of decides for you. But, uh, yeah, I just love the look of this game, I like how it plays, I like how it feels. Being chillin', no schedule, that's the way to go, man. Me too. Alright, let's go on normal. And, uh, this is running in 1080p. So this is Shogo 1080 Gaming. My brother, Toshiro. Kura, the woman I loved. Baku, my childhood friend. I'll start reading from here, I guess. I can't bring them back, but I can avenge them. Avenge my death. Every rebel, rebel, CMC soldier, and, uh, fan fanatical, fallen terrorist, I something. That, and Catherine, Kura's sister, who I've been dating for the past several months. Dot, dot, dot. It's kind of complicated. It does sound complicated. Alright, the ambush. The UAC reconnaissance mission in the abandoned city of Everest has gone disastrously uh, awry. Enemy forces have come swarming out of the access tunnels. The fallen drop ships have Deposited, MC, deposited MCA squads in the path of your retreat. You must fall back to Drop Point Renegade for immediate evacuation for the UCA. Very close to UAC, by the way. Union Aerospace Corporation begins its carpet bombing runs from high orbit. A drop ship is en route, but... I can't stay long. You and your squad mates will have a limited window of opportunity. Don't miss it. Alright. Right, I'm getting shot out in the cutscene. That's not fair. Anyway, here's our game. We start with this, uh, sort of laser gun. Uh, we got a sword by default. And then we immediately get, like, this railgun cannon. Which I'm probably going to use the rest of the game for the most part. Because it's so good. That and a rocket launcher. Ah, uh, we can hit small targets from the ground. Tried to play this game after finishing Slave Zero, but only got halfway through. I'd say this game is easier than uh, Slave Zero. Slave Zero is a hard game, man. I couldn't get into it. Um, did you play that on the Dreamcast, Craid, or was that the PC port? Because the PC port is busted. Oh, on PC? Okay. Oh, very buggy. I tried to stream it, but, um, yeah, bugs got in the way for the, the main part of things, so. I, yeah, I couldn't really do much. Back aboard the UCASF flagship Leviathan, you and Catherine find a few precious moments of peace before you must prepare uh, for the mission ahead from space. Chrono seems tranquil and remote, but it has always defeated you before the odds have never been so grim. Enjoy the brief uh, respite, for it won't last long. BBS. Hey, sweetie. You're wanted at MC Alright. What did everyone get for Christmas? I need to know. You can access the database for background information on your mission. Yes, sir. Alright, we got our ID. 
Uh, so this is us on foot. We get infinite, uh, dual welding Glock rounds, or Desert Eagle, whatever you want to call them. That's the cool thing about being a uh, on foot person in this game. So, we'll just go straight to our objective here. If I can remember where to go. I think it's here, we wait for our train. Yeah, apparently Night Dive uh, remastered that Slave Zero port. I'm surprised how buggy it is. I think it was Night Dive anyway. Admiral Akaru, uh, Akaraju was always like a father to you, but since the loss of Kura, Toshiro and Baku, he has grown increasingly distant and preoccupied. His determination to defeat the fallen borders on obsession. As though by crushing them, he can somehow restore what he has lost. It is no secret that your mission was ordered by UCA High Command and that the Admiral's personal wish was to employ the Leviathan's Cat Cato Cannon to eradicate the Fallen, despite the consequences. Okay. So we've arrived. Uh, I think we can go through here. Hopefully the sound's okay. I could turn it up a bit if it's a bit low. The gun sounds seem pretty loud though, so that's okay. Uh, all right, objectives. For duty, sir. Good, you're here. I'll get to the point. Your mission is to find and eliminate Gabriel at all costs. His forces have been massing in the abandoned city of Avernus. Within a few days, we feel they will attempt a final assault on Maratropa. If Gabriel is allowed to continue, the Fallen will destroy the CMC and gain control of Kronos. If this happens, the flow of Kato throughout our system will cease. This cannot and will not happen. I'll see to that myself if I have to. Yes, sir. I understand completely. You may select an MTA for this mission. Consult the terminal in each bay for specifications on the various units. Good luck, Commander. Sir, I presume Catherine is my primary contact for this mission? You mean Lieutenant Commander Akaraja? Yes, she is. That's what I meant to say, sir. You're dismissed. I'll see to that myself if I have to. You have something you wish to share <laughs> with me, Commander? Yes, sir. You are my personal hero, sir. Hmm. By the way, Commander, you never checked into regional diagnostics. I was hoping you'd be a little more responsible about this mission. Ooh. Alright. Uh, um... I'm gonna try and turn up, turn up the audio a little bit. Eh. Yeah. Maybe like that. Hopefully not too loud, but we'll see. All right, we need to go and select our robot now. Regional Diagnostics. Somewhere here, hopefully. Always get lost on this part. Access control. Each train there we go. Each train a specific MCA into docking position. You can board that MCA by circling around at the corresponding access door. You don't get... First one. The balance of responsive movement with strong armor. Ideal for pilots who want a machine that is reliable in any situation. Uh, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. There we go. Hopefully not too ear blasting, but it's a little louder. Okay, so this is a general purpose one. General purpose mech. 
I sort of know them, but uh, let's go through it anyway. Okay, so that's a slower moving mech. So you got average, you got slow. Like, I guess all purpose is like the first one. This guy's kind of cool looking. Okay, so that one's sort of below average, I guess. And I think I've play done a playthrough of this game with uh, this mech here. Okay, give me one second. I'm just going to take off uh first playthrough. Because I have played through this video game. Oh, information successfully updated. Ah, uh, so for this playthrough, I kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Um, so we got average Optimus Prime looking dude. We got... This one looks cool. I might go with... Hmm. I might go with this one, actually, since I've never played this. Um. I don't know, the description always sounded so average, I never played it, so. Here goes nothing. I hope you succeed, Commander. I would hate to have to resort to more drastic measures to eliminate the Fallen. Authorize you out. Watch your step, hotshot. It probably has like lower power than the other mix, but we'll see. The transport will drop you off near the southwest entrance to Alice. And Legion Necris of the Raid. How's it going, man? Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Playing the greats. Yep. I've uh, streamed this one before, but why not? I uh, haven't streamed in a few days, so this is a good one to start back with. What were you playing, man? Good to see you. Uh, LZ Minotaur places you uh, 15 kicks SE southeast of an access road leading into Avenus. The entrance is poorly defended, but you should still expect moderate, moderate resistance. Larger uh, divisionary strike forces are harrying fallen defenses further to the north and east to tie up possible reinforcements. Protect your squad mates. Their added firepower will prove useful when you reach the perimeter wall where you encounter the heaviest concentration defenders. Mostly played a deck builder called Battle Bands today. Nice. LZ Minotaur Never heard of that one. Now there's a fortified condenser station between you and the south. You seem to stream a lot of obscure games as well. Make sure you take out any surveillance. Uh, the opposite end of the scale to myself when it comes to obscurity though, like... Alright, we've still got our beam gun. I take it you've uh, played this game, Necros? It's pretty good. Very uh, addictive gameplay. Shit, I'm out of it. The more obscure, the better. If people have heard of it, it's too mainstream. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like to trend. So, I stay away. Um, 
I just like this game because it's fun. It's pretty common, but... You know, it's, it's unique. It's unique enough. Also, love the critical hit system in this game. It's fantastic. This gives bad Battletech vibes. It's awesome. Have you played this one before? I highly recommend this. Developed by Monolith Productions. So, yeah, this is the Lith Tech Engine, again in effect. Never played it? Oh, maybe a demo back in the day? Yeah. I think I vaguely remember playing a demo back in the day as well. Alright, we've got a rocket launcher. We won't use it just yet. Uh, F5, F6 saves our game. And then we got our first boss, I guess. <laughs> She's sort of easy. Right, let's drop down here. There's a wee secret. Wait, is that the secret? Wrong way. Let's go back under. Also, I hope you had a good Christmas, man. I've been, uh, flat out with Christmas things. Finally got a chance to have some downtime to myself. Oh, these are our guys. Okay. And we can explode her. Also these. We could also double jump as well, which is pretty cool. Gets us up to new areas. <laughs> Let's blow the crap out of this area. Hell yeah. Where is he? There's little renegade people. Okay, I wonder if they're gonna follow me. Yoink, I'll grab that. And I think we go this way? Yep. Every environment sort of looks the same after a while, but... It's alright. There's a lot of damage. Every weapon is so punchy, man. Oh shit! I skipped that by accident. Here they come. Anyway, it's basically just a canyon battle. We got the nuke. You want to be careful with this weapon. Because the hit detection in this game is all over the place. We got our... I think it's quad rockets. I want to say it's pretty good. Alright.
This bit kind of sucks if you're not careful, but, uh... This assault rifle is pretty punchy. Or we can just do this. Hope to hit something. You just got stuck with a nuke. Holy shit. It's a lot of damage. Melted. Alright. Uh, let's pick up these just in case. Save our game. I'm going in. Wait, where is the... Uh, oh, I wanted to use this weapon. The city of Avernus is largely abandoned following a disastrous series of earthquakes, but it continues an airy existence of its own. The geothermal energy infrastructure filters air, collects condensation, uh, and powers streetlights, making it vi a viable habitat for the decompressed and disenfranchised. It's no wonder that the city has become a makeshift fortress for Gabriel's financial fanatical army. Wolf with the raid, welcome to the stream, how's it going man? Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you. We're just playing some Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Good to see you man, how's your stream? Uh, it was here that Toshiro, Kura, and Baku perished in a massive earthquake during the mission to assassinate Ivan, uh, Iz Izarilvich, the original leader of the Fallen. And, good sir, uh, beat nice and short PS2 game. Nice. That's always good. Yeah, if you want the game to be short, like, sometimes it's perfect, dude. What were you playing, man? Dragon Rage? Being the game in question. Okay. Sounds like a fighting game. When I think Dragon Rage. Right, I'm gonna save my game. Uh, this city part gets a little busy. Shit. Get some headshots off and we'll be right. Highly recommend. It's always a good sign. Alright, let's create some destruction here. Think of helicopter games, but you're a dragon. Fighting orcs instead. That sounds amazing. Like an uh, Apache dragon. Apache. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to mind. Or like Panzer Dragoon. Cool, man. Well, actual dragon. I guess, just for an example, yeah. But yeah, for 3DO, oh, it's 3DO, nice. I actually really like the 3DO system. Some weird titles on there. But, uh, two battles are, like, expensive as hell when it first came out. Sorry, my phone was going off. Okay, we can go down here. Oh, 
What have I got in terms of weapons? So how long was it? Like a couple of hours? Alright, let's go down here. I don't know about this. Let's just do it. Oh, four hours. Not bad at all. Yeah. Four or five hour game is sometimes just perfect. You know? If it doesn't piss you off too much or, you know. It's all you need. God damn. Damage in this game. It feels nice to have another game done and dusted so quickly too. Indeed, yep. I need to get uh, back into doing that. But yeah, at the same time, I'm, yeah. I'm sort of on holiday. So, rest is good. God damn. A lot of damage in this game. We're all good. Let's get my... Ah, uh, do I want to use rockets? Probably. Most probably. How many games... Have you played through on stream now? Must be quite a few. The 6th gen challenge, uh, less. Let's see. That nuke I do not trust. Seventy-seven by now if we're counting compilations. A lot higher if we went by individual games. Okie dokie. Nice. It's a good number. Get out of there, Sanjuro. It's a friggin' trap. Oh, it's a boss. What the? Sanjuro, I know you. Who are you? Get out of here. I won't spare you. Now. These guns are so overly large. Excellent. Of course he escapes. Bombasses are jamming your com signal. You gotta shut down their interference array. Go back out the way you came in, but watch out for fallen reinforcements. I'm too close. I gotta find another way in. Bad idea. If they know you're coming, you're as good as dead. If you oh. can get to the central ventilation shaft, I can get you to the surface in a jiffy. That ought to take you right to the main communication. Oh, I don't think I can go this way. There's something we can do here. Have you played this wolf? I, I love this game. Oh man, there's a long ass hallway. Looks good. It's awesome, man. I'm counting on you, Hank, whoever you are. Such a unique game. Uh, obviously based on an anime. Of the same name. I haven't researched the anime, though, so... Get scrambled. 
Yeah, I think this is just a PC exclusive, so... Alright, we're looking for a ventilation shaft. This is probably... not the way to go. Is it easy enough to get up? Ah, uh, 100%, yeah, it's on GOG. I'm using a widescreen patch. So this is running at 1920 by 1080. But yeah, it's uh Yeah, more than more than enough to get going. I can send you a link if you want to uh where I got mine. It's worth it. This is the most up-to-date version too. Oh shit. Okay, they're almost found it. Oh good, you might piss you if you get around the plague it. Yeah, no, uh whisper away, man. The trap has sprung, the fallen have jammed your communications with the Leviathan and blocked your path to downtown Avenus. Your only hope is to navigate the city's central ventilation system and get to the communication center on the surface. There you might be able to restore your link to the UCA and get out alive. Hank Johnson will help you. Pay attention to his advice if you want to survive. Come with me if you want to live. Uh, this level is confusing as heck. You know what you're talking about. You doubting me, boy? <laughs> you doubting me, boy? The voice acting is also very good. Okay, let's use this. Since we got so much ammunition for it. Uh, there are tiny people shooting at me. You can squish them as well. It's pretty cool. Alright, what are we using here? Definitely not the nuke. I'm gonna stick with this assault rifle thing. Damn it, gotta be careful here. I don't want the uh, ventilation shaft like throwing you round. Oh, I missed that guy. Anything here? Critical hit. Critical hits are so important in this game, so always aim for the head. Oh, good. Now you're gonna have to shut down the heating coils for shaft A. Coils are near your position. Find them, then destroy their control panels. Alright, destroy control panels. this mission the game really picks up it's like super fun just this these initial areas are kind of meh 
Okay, we need to destroy that. Also, there's a power up down here. Wanna grab? I think we destroy this as well. Whoa! Okay, uh. I was not expecting insta death, but here we are. Um. We're gonna have to restart the mission. Oh, fuck! Yeah, you can blow yourself up in the cutscenes in this game. Fuck, that was going perfectly. I should have saved. I hope you know what you're talking about. You doubting me, boy? Alright, let's go again. Let's go again. You ain't shit, buddy. You ain't shit. Okay. Now let's be let's be sensible here. Seriously. Excuse me. Okay, that guy tries to run away. He's quite fast. <laughs> I shot him in the back of the head. Alright. Good. I reversed the airflow to shaft B. Good. Now you're gonna have to shut down the heating coils for shaft A. Coils are near your position. Find them, then destroy their control panels. Got the heating coils themselves? Whoa, shit. Okay, let's drop a save here since I apparently suck. I'm gonna sneeze as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. These are destroyed. Great. Alright, jump down shaft A. Let's go. Also, world's slowest lift. It sort of speeds up near the end, but... Oh shit! Gotta pay attention. Uh, nothing up there. Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Do I wanna go up here? Some of these can just straight up kill you, so... Let's go the other way. Shaft 3. Alright, save. Hopefully this won't kill me. Sometimes you just get absolutely cooked and you're dead. Uh... Ah, terminal shaft A. Okay, that was the right one. Also, there's a dude here. Alright, so we need to jump down it. Essentially. Let's keep going. Wait. Okay, not that way.
Maybe here? We're already here, so... Do we Geronimo? I'm gonna try. Hey! Oh, okay, we do Geronimo, holy shit. I just don't want a crate. Game? Bonk. Uh, how... I don't know how I'm gonna slow this momentum down, but we'll soon find out. Bruh, let me, let me on the platform. Unless I gotta do something. I can't remember. Oh, wait, I do gotta be down here though. Come on. There's uh, nowhere else to go but down. Basically. Okay, can we make our way down, please? Sort of stuck. Oh, shit. This was a bad idea. I think I'm perpetually stuck in this fan shaft. Damn it. Game, come on. This is my life. This is my life, people. I don't fucking know what to do. Um, down? Surely it's gonna let me down, right? Eventually. Or not. I, I don't know. Or do I have to like destroy something? You know, uh, can I, yeah. Right. Do I have to destroy? <sighs> Jump down main shaft. The way he says it, that this better work, is like... Oh, there we go! Okay, the game just sort of bugged. Reloading helped, man. And now we fly back up, I think. Yoink. Ow. Holy shit, man. It was a lot of damage. Get out of here. Well, god damn. That did quite a bit of damage. Let's go. Alright. Lieutenant Clouds from Strike Force Carnivore. We're holding on to security station level K. We sure could use some help, sir. On my way. I'm gonna see if I can get inside the facility and create a distraction for you. Be in touch soon. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Hold on. Okie dokie, let's get back into the action. Yeah. 
UCA soldiers from Strike Force Carnival have established a foothold against fallen troopers near the security station on level K. Meanwhile, Hankers attempting to infiltrate the facility and create a diversion so that you can get inside. Assist the UCA strike team and then proceed to the main facility. Alright, we're on foot now. This is pretty cool. The game has a different way of playing when you're on foot. So, we climb out and... Let's uh, murder some stuff. Access denied. Access denied. Oh, let's get some armor. Maybe some more ammunition. I always like to use the knife, like Gordon Freeman uses crowbar for boxes. Ah! Okay, that's our dude. The hell. Also, enemies can, um, inflict critical hits as well. So you just gotta be careful. Shit. Let's all just keep appearing here. Okie dokie. Probably want to use the best weapon here. What am I looking for, Hank? Get to the elevator in the parking garage. It'll take you up into the main room. So Situational. Okay. It's like a roundabout. Ooh, there's robots too. Alright. On guard, game. This is where I usually die. Game likes to fuck me up, fam. You just gotta be quick, I guess, but... I'm gonna go back for health. Enemies will follow you back to, like... How far back you've gone, I guess. So, you can get flanked at any mo moment. Okay. I need to get up there. So this room here. I don't know, I always felt like that room held some significance. We could also get flanked to death up here. There's like so many corners they can pop out of. Shipping manager is locked. Ow. Killing civilians doesn't really make a difference.
Oh man. God damn. Gotta be so careful. Not to take critical hits. Killing innocents all over the place here. into any of these boxes uh from what i recall oh yeah we get a shotgun it's pretty good but since all your enemies are at like long range it's okay Alright, we can open that. And that loops us back round. Good level design. That is what good level design is. Bonk! Let's go up. So there's still communications with the Leviathan. You have to disable the interface array, then contact Catherine through a tight beam link up. This facility is well defended, however, so it won't be easy. Perhaps with a little help from Hank, you can take the fallen off guard and meet your objectives. Right, let's get it. Hey, I got a down here. You this body. Me, oh yeah, there's a whole lot of dudes who come through this door. It looks like a Star Wars door. From like one of the Star Wars games. So, we can kill this guy. The door just takes a while to open. But yeah, it's such a fast death. Yeah. Open? What the heck? Oh, that's our ally, dude. Okay. Holy crap. I got like two armor? Oh, man. Eviscerated. Alright. These terminal explosions are kind of insane. Let's go! Waiting for this dude to come through the door. Whoops, I went into scope mode by accident. Also critical hit. Shotgun. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? There we go. Generous uh, armor there. We got anime machine. Those, uh, vending machines can do real good splash damage. Okay. 
Okay, we're good. Go up. Look. Man, all right. I should have saved. Critical hits can just insta death you. It's a dice roll. Okay. Alright, let's just uh, speed run our way through. So much that we don't die, but... We'll drop an official save here, and then, uh... So, we'll try and have some clean playthrough-ish. Not promising anything. Ow. These guys are quite dirty with their damage. Ultra shield, okay. Uh, and mega health? That health could look massive. But like, judging by the size of everything else in this game, it's like... Probably nothing. That was 50% though, so... Right, we've got our rocket launcher uh, on the foot rockets. This must be it. Okay, I think we found our entrance. Uh, I want to look over here though. Have a cheeky peek. Never know what you might find. Got our infinite pistols. Pretty cool. Alright, we need to look for a terminal. Who's shooting me? And you. Need to go up here. Make sure everyone is dead as well. You died. It. All right, what now? Sweet terminal. Okay, look for calm control. You can re-establish a link to the UCA there. Calm control, huh? Um. Oh, luckily no full damage. Holy crap! Got a whole lot of enemies. Let's try that again. Yeah, the, uh... The RNG of the hit system in this game is insane. Bruh, I need my lift. Do it again. What now? Okay, you can reestablish a link to the UCA. Drop down. Right. What the heck? That was just rocket to face. Oh. 
Nice death loop, bruh. Yeah, he's, uh, he's aiming right at me. Forget about these guys, too. All right, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Save. Crouch. It's just a rocket launcher. Does so much damage, though. Take that, vending machines. Oh, let's go. What was that guy doing? Computator? No. See you later, computator. Hey, Chief. Welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas. And happy holidays, dude. How's it going? We're playing some Shogo Mad. I found the main comm nexus. AKA Shogo Mobile Armor Division. This is a mech shooter based on anime. Uh, uses the Lithtech engine. Same as No One Lives Forever. It's pretty cool. Should be sleeping, but you're not. Ah, who needs sleep? What's the time there? Is it like 3 a.m.? 1 a.m.? Who is this? This is a secure line. How, how did- Oh, it's Kira. Kira. Kira? Good guess. I thought you were dead. I need to talk with you face to face. It's about Toshiro and Baku. I don't understand. Head out for Marutroga. I'll contact you there. Kura out. Sanjuro, what the hell happened? I'm probably gonna try and get some sleep Kira. tonight, though. I see. Only 11.21 p.m. I haven't slept mu much this month. Fair enough. But, sir, Cora's alive. I'm about the same, dude. Where do you think our intelligence has been coming from? You knew, and you didn't tell me? Cora is a soldier commander. She does what she I'll probably try and catch some decent sleep tonight, though. Requesting permission to proceed. Sounds like a plan. Permission denied. I will not stand for insubordination. You have your orders. Akaraju out. Yes, sir. Alright. Get, get rid of my gun. Time to get destroyed. Alright, save. This is quick save the video game. But will it come into fruition? Usually ends up dozing off to a game or stream. It never comes to fruition, Chief. No. <laughs> I promise myself so much, yet I never achieve it. And and then I and then I say it's fine. But, uh, it really isn't. So it's sort of just a, uh, a, a cycle of torture. Just a cycle of torment to myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad there's someone here on the same plane as, of sabotage as I am. Ridiculous. Uh, where am I going? Back through here? No. No, 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 I was just here. Okay, I feel like the music is really, really loud right now. That's a little better. Uh...
I'll pop it down one because it's quieter in the menus. That avocado to toast you might made might help somehow. I love avocados, man. Yeah, I had a uh, like avocado spread at the table this afternoon for uh, Christmas lunch. Well, after Christmas lunch, rather. But she knows. Hey, instant death. Thanks, game. Oh, best food for anything. It's so good for you. Just in general. Avocados, man. Really can't go wrong. Right, how dare you critical hit me. 69 health. Got it. I feel like you need to find a decent avocado though. There's a lot of yucky ones out there. Uh, ones that aren't ripe. They go all like pale and watery when they're not ripe. And, you know, they're hard to cut into because they're like solid. The orders are clear. Fall back to LZ Minotaur. Or Minotaur for immediate extraction. But the situation doesn't sit well. Kura is alive. She's waiting for you in uh, Mar Maratropa with information on Toshiro and Baku. It's safe to assume the Admiral knew about them as well. What else hasn't he told you? Regardless, with fallen reinforcements pouring into the facility, your first priority is to get back to your MCA in one piece. Best way is if you can barely move the stem and it comes off without force and firm or you just like push yeah yeah you just push the stem and if it's like semi soft it means it's a good avocado yeah that's that's the trick I've I uh I've learned from people or like just my mum or dad they yeah you know they want to look after you, therefore, advice. Ah, uh, what the heck is going- Whoa, what the heck? Restart escape. Ghost, welcome to the stream. I hope you have a good holiday if you celebrate. Yes, uh, I'm on holiday. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you, Ghost. Hope you're well, man. Yeah, I've been celebrating the past couple of days. It's been a little too much celebration, honestly. Uh, now I'm here playing some Shogo Mobile Armor Division. And if it's not scrunched up in black... Yeah, people at the supermarket, Chief, they pick up avocados and they, like, squeeze them. Like, there's been so many hands on those avocados. They're just squished and bruised and mushy. Like, you don't want that. You're not bad. Glad to hear. Nice, dude. Hope you got some uh, cool Christmas presents as well. I got some essential ones, honestly. And uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with what I got. Quality of life presents. I guess what you could call them. Reeks in here. What are they serving in the cafeteria? Also, for critical hits in this game, you get more health. So you noticed I was at one percent there. Every critical hit you achieve, and also the enemies can one shot you as well. Or one or two hits, you get extra health. It's kind of like an arcade system. Or, like, more RNG. Nice to know destroying air conditioner gives you items. Gotta try it IRL sometimes. You never know what you're gonna get out of a good air conditioner. You did, it was a good Christmas all around, nice. 
Sounds like misery these days. What, critical hits? Indeed, yep. No, you don't want to receive a critical hit in real life or bad RNG. Indeed. Alright, we got a new objective. But objectives for this game is just shoot. If you notice enemies, just shoot. Oh my god! Is that a tank? Oh, that's an active tank. We gotta be careful. Alright, I've forgotten to save, so restart that. Uh, you redid this mission on your game at least 50 plus times now to try get better item spawn and uh, ah, fun. Yep, I, I feel your pain, chief. Sounds like every roguelike ever. What's the game, by the way? Fixy, welcome to the stream. Shogo indeed. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Imagine being Vax, lol, welcome. They are generous with the hit scanners. The whole game is hit scan unless it's like projectile miss missile uh, weapons vaxxed. How you doing, man? And Merry Christmas to you. You happy moon, miss? You have a copy somewhere? Nice, I have this on GOG. Still nothing compared to some of the, uh, Borderland two days, but still. Alright, save. God damn it. Uh, Cyber Psycho mission, Cyberpunk. Oh, try to get a certain legendary spawn. Okay, makes sense. Uh, you've been playing this back in the day, Monolith runs on the same engine? Yes, the, uh, Lothtech engine, pretty much, yeah. It's fun, man. I remember playing the demo back in the day, but, uh, I originally played this on an iMac, of all things. Because, uh, I grew up with Macintosh. Uh, I do really like this game, so, yeah. Haven't streamed in a few days either, so what are they serving in the cafeteria? Why not to why not return with something, you know, sane? Great. What now? I've also streamed Blood 2 as well. Thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Almost at 700 followers. Uh one wants to make an enemy attack friendly if there's None, they pop their own dome. Okay. So they sort of suicide themselves. Interesting. Alright. Uh, so we need rockets here. Sounds useful. Wait, what just happened? I thought enemies were gonna come out of this truck. You've been looking forward to getting Cyberpunk when you got PS5. Now, they patched a lot of the issues. Oh yeah, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, I think. It's a way better game, apparently. It seems that fate has made your decision for you. With no way to get back to the LZ Minotaur without an MCA, the only sensible option is to go with Hank. To Mara Tropa and rendezvous with Kura. Admiral Akaraju won't be happy. But what choice is there? Hank is convinced he can get you inside the old CMC pumping station where you can steal an MCA. Ah, uh, you don't have any serious bugs on release. Only funny, funny visual glitches. That's what I've seen, Chief, yeah. 
Uh, and Richo Bear with the raid. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? We're playing some Shogo Mobile Armor Division. How was your day, Zim, dude? Good to see you, man. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. So, yeah, so much patch and his stuff meant to come out at release. Yep. Uh, it was a gift anyway. Loved it from the start. Only bugs you got was like dead drug dealer trying to sell you stuff. That's pretty funny. You gotta pass out. Yeah, get some rest, man. Died after four hours of looting. Dang. That's amazing. Anyway, thanks for the raid, dude. But the rest is up to you. Security should be light. So getting to the MCA dock should be fairly straightforward. Or so you hope. You gotta lurk. You're just fixing your sleep schedule, enjoy the game. Okay, Retro Bear, fix the stopping in. I hope you get your sleep schedule sorted over the next couple of days. Uh, is there a wee reason why it's, like, stuffed at the moment, or... Has it just been kind of a holiday situational thing? Anyway, I'll be here for, like, the next hour or so, Retro, so... Yeah, feel free to lurk and cheers. Projects at night and the holiday. The occasional corpse spaghettiing across the map or civilians doing the earthquake crouch. Yeah, I, I get it, Chief. It's uh, every new release ever. When it comes to those types of games. Those are big open world games. Alright, that was a lot to read from chat. Squad and cover, cover, uh, heads and groups. Yeah, checks out. Alright, we need to perform more critical hits. So we can, holy shit! I don't know where that came from. Ah, it was the same as release. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So, our ally here gets in the way, actually. So, we sort of need to shoot the enemy first. Hopefully. What the fuck? Ah, oh, that's such a troll, that window. Zero recoil. Damn. Alright, open sesame and quick save. And continue firing. <laughs> Definitely a bumbling mess. Yep, Bumblebee miss. Right, can I simply crouch in here? I wonder. Crouch, jump crouch? No jump crouch exists. Alright. Uh, I'm probably dead down there. Uh, duck something 11, welcome to the stream. Heard this game was unbalanced. Ah, uh, it is in a sense with the critical hit system, Duck. Because the hit critical hit system that you can execute on enemies and the, ex and the enemies can execute on you is completely random, RNG. But you gain health from every critical hit you do. So it's sort of unbalanced and then it's like fair. I don't know, you get, you get certain rewarded for a critical hit. But yeah, it's a bit like the Doom games. The damage is RNG on that. In that series as well. Uh, especially only the original series though. Bumblebee Vest, you should stand out like the rest. Yeah, don't want to be too, uh, 
Don't want to be too colourful, though. Uh, it's unbalanced fun. Duck. Basically. Feel like the devs couldn't code healing properly, he said fucking added health to kills. Yeah. You just wanna- yeah, you just gotta be quick. You just gotta be fast, that's about all. But, uh, yeah. It's- it's a re- it's a, gli a game of reflex. Basically. But if you're not fast enough, you're just gonna die, like... So quick. See, critical hit, I got some health. Okay, let's take our pick here. You know what? We're gonna go fully armored. Yeah, it uses a Lithtech engine. I think the same as Blood 2 use, but yeah. It's a uh, very in Tech 2. Yeah, Quake 2 engine. It's like based on an anime. So it's got the kind of plain, unique graphics. Thanks, Hank. That like an anime mech show would have, you know. Much of the city of uh, Marotropa has been under strict martial law since the uh, Cro Cron Cronian mining. Uh, consortiums, fragmentation, and the military rise of the fallen. You can rest assured that a heavily armed MCA will be regarded with more than little suspicion by CMC security forces. Still, there's no better means of getting where you need to go quickly. Hank has convinced some old friends of his, Maurice and Toshi, to back you up. Together, you'll have to fight your way to MEV Dock 17 at Angel Station in the slums. Cura will contact you once you've docked. Maybe it's a quake degrade total conversion mod. It could be in disguise, Chief. Toshiro and Baku may be in trouble. Toshiro and Baku are dead. I don't think so. If Kura's alive, then there's a good chance Baku and Toshiro Ooh. are too. I've got to find Top out. 10 anime deaths. Anime deaths, rather. Let's give him hell. Okay. So this is the mech portion of the game. It's pretty sick. We can either go on on foot or mech. Critical hits still apply. Move enough features to avoid a lawsuit. Bullet have been taking a long time making their next game. What is their next game, Duck something? Whatever it is, it's it's probably going to be pretty cool. And uh, I don't think there's many members of the original Monolith left either, so... Who knows? Who really knows? Oh, Wonder Woman, okay. Mom, can we get Titanfall, Titanfall 2 at home? I mean... It's a good game, so I don't think it deserves the at-home treatment, honestly. But yeah, basically, uh, it's the uh, closest thing I can think of to, I guess, Titanfall at home, or 90s Titanfall would be a better way of, like, describing it. <laughs> Alright, uh, we can't go up there, that's shielded off. Don't look too bad, but needs work. I mean, it's from 1998. This is when 3D effects cards were becoming, like, you know, a thing. So, this is sort of early 3D effects. I don't think it needs improving, this is just kind of a graphical style, honestly. It looks as good as it gets for, like, what they were going for. Like, the graphics are deliberately supposed to look like this. As if you're playing, like, uh, like a animated mech 
sort of story. Oh, RNG, other things. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, Night Dive gets a hold of it or something. Okay, I got fucked there. Not until I know what's going on. Toshiro and Baku may be in trouble. Toshiro and Baku are dead. I don't think so. If Kuro's alive, then there's a good chance Baku and Toshiro are too. I've got to find out. All right. I need to use my quick save. Just the abuse and leave Q and E. Yeah. Like our fear as well. Excuse me. Fear had lean mechanic. I think Counter Strike did as well. Let's go up. Right, I'm gonna save after this cutscene. Too many cutscenes. God damn. Oh, there's dudes up there too. I was wondering what was randomly killing me, but. Oh, that shit was top of the line first when you seen it, everything changed. Yep. Uh, technology has been very progressive over the years, so. Yeah, rapid changes, dude. Like, constant change. Wait, what's shooting me? All of you guys. It's like I'm taking so much damage. Diagonal cameras? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, diagonal cameras were like a, a revelation. Okay. Wait. Oh, I just shot our dudes. Whoops. Also, why am I zoomed in? Shit. I'm pushing all sorts of keys here. Yeah, they were a game changer. I was looking for missiles. I'm sort of just guessing what I push here. Think it's this way? No? They give you Deus Ex vibes? I can definitely see that. Right, this part of the level is very quiet. Ooh. We're all like walled off from the city. It's kind of eerie. Alright, let's get a... Let's get a good scope of the, the city here. I'm pushing uh, Z to double jump. Ow. Where the heck are we going? Alright, we need to find a way to unlock that I guess. Hey, I just went round the circle. Yikes, dude. This is where we started. This is called intelligent level design. Alright. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, we can actually get on the other side of this. I've reached the Shannara district. Easy. Good. Now find that dock. You don't want to miss the train. Holy shit! God, we just blow up a whole lot of guys here. I oh, love this weapon. It's like a riot missile launcher. It's just like endless barrels. But uh, yeah, don't do that. Otherwise you're gonna blow yourself up. Have a nuke, you dumb spider. I wonder if my squad mates will follow me. Free for fresh air going back to when games didn't point to exactly where you go with floating market. I prefer these types of games because there's like such a mystery behind them. Yeah, where do I go next is like... Is like what I strive for because you know... It gives you more game time, exploring, and uh, and seeing what's like in store and up ahead. Sometimes you do need a compass or a map, but like not excessive hand holding, you know? I don't really like that in my game. Alright, there's dudes somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. Get up here. Um, one of these cityscapes, we have to jump all the way up to the building. I don't think this part, though. Bonus points to anyone that gets the reference. Follow the road, south town, across the bridges, follow the Odai River till you see a suspension bridge. That sounds familiar, but I don't think I'm... I'm clued in enough. What is that referencing? Oh, Morrowind. Yep, that does sound like a Oblivion Morrowind sort of thing. Yeah, as in, spoiler alert. Where am I going? It's one of these. It's one of these city blocks. Yep, literally all the way home. Alright, Dock 17. Catching the train to Crescent Square Station. Should be relatively simple. It's facing Kira again that gets complicated. After all, as far as you know, she was dead. Your feelings for her have been compounded by grief and magnified by loss. To lose her was to lose a part of yourself. But now she's alive. And you're dating her sister. Dang. Don't miss the train, Sanjuro. The next one doesn't come for half an hour. Alright. Take a sip here. As usual, I have overhydrated today. 
But yeah, we're back on foot. Please collect all personnel, personal belongings from MEV, MEV. Surely we got full ammo. Always nice. Ow! What the? It's time to die. Man, that was unexpected. I got wiped out there. And that dude just fell through the floor. Um. Also, if this is the mission I'm thinking about, it's pretty fun. It's like a, a city block mission. I uh, missed the mega bonus up there. I don't think I can grab it anymore. Unless I restart. I won't restart though. Oh, it's to get out. Alright. Recon mission. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. Oh, we can go back. Alright, we can get the super duper secret. Uh, atomic health. I fell too far forward though. Back up here. Jump. Okay, good. Now we just need to, like, ease ourselves along the edge. There we go. 100 health, 200 armor. Worth it. Hey, wait. Damn, I missed the train. Oh, okay, get inside the storehouse next to the depot. It leads out onto the street. I can get and duck something. Door. Thank you for the follow. If you're still there, man. Sometimes I don't hear alerts, but uh, I appreciate it, dude. Unless I already said before. Okay, let's go in the water. I think there's like bigger health. Yeah, this gives us 200. Right, up the ladder. Uh, now we need to find our next point of interest. Is down here. Uh. We destroy that. This is a random room, dude. Oh my god! Auto switch, fucking destroyed me just then. Alright, obviously you don't want to use that weapon at close quarters. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the result of auto switch right there. Let's go back and get that weapon though. Oh, shit. Am I really just stuck right now? Ah. Okay. Okay, auto switch. So, that gun I just picked up is like a particle cannon. It's uh, a bit like the one from Half-Life 2. It's uh, an energy orb that just completely wipes out. Clears everything in the room. Um, it bounces round as well like Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2-2. Two, two. Right, that's a familiar sounding alarm sound. Well, 
Woke up the whole damn base. And lost all my life in the process. I can shut off the alarm though. Which is quite nice. Alright. As usual, the levels loop around on themselves. So... There we go. Ooh, what's that? Okay. Uh, one of these days you finish Half-Life 2? Well, I haven't you already. It's, uh, not a very long game. And, um, the reason why I've finished it, like, three or four times is because it pulls me in every time. It's... It's like an almost perfect game. And so is Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Ah, uh, I can only half recommend Black Mesa. I can recommend, though, uh, Half-Life 2... Ah, uh, what's it called? It's called Zero something. Anyway, according to Kura... There's a selective curfew, selective curfew in effect in the Shahara district. Which means that only citizens with proper ID are allowed out of doors. Since you don't happen to belong to that select crowd, you'll have to espe be especially careful. Kira will guide you as best she can. But you should be prepared to improvise. Yeah, Half-Life 2 is a classic, man. Um, and I'm just going to look up something that's bugging me. Uh, I like it, but always had too much fun messing with the physics, loading up the campaign in Gary's bodily and the T-Rex. I eat the combines. True, true. Um, the other game is Entropy Zero Two. This is a Half Life Two mod, and it's really damn good. Let me give you the link, Chief. It's uh worth checking out, especially once you've um finished the base game. Yes, Half-Life Alex. It's awesome. For, uh, virtual reality. Yeah, man. It's, uh... Half-Life Alex is amazing. If you can afford a VR headset or have time to, like, play with one. Uh, highly recommend it, dude. You don't have VR, but heard good things? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got an Oculus Rift S. It's very good. I, I like it. Okay, this is the alleyway to this place. Let's continue. But yeah, play through Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and Episode 2. Those are the Half-Life expansions. And then Entropy Zero Two, the one I just uh, linked you on Steam. That one's definitely worth playing. But yeah, there's uh, there's endless Half-Life out there. There's mods. There's total conversions. Make the game look different, you know? Only VR you play with PSVR. Try Call of Duty. Fly the uh, fighter in space and gas station clerk thing. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, VR titles are very experimental for the most part, but 
There are some genuinely good games like Half-Life Alex, there's Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. Obviously the Medal of Honor title for VR, made for VR. I had a good time with that. Uh, there's also like box VR, which is essentially just a boxing game, but man, does it make you sweat? It gives you the best workout ever. A uh, bank heist, robbery sim. Okay. Ah, uh, seat. Sounds like a good way to train. It is, man. It, it'll wear you the hell out, though. For sure. Oh, box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it depends what field you want to get yourself into, I guess, in life. God damn it. Alright, I guess I'm restarting this. I can speed up the process. I know where not to go. I'm going straight into this marketplace, though. Um, basically, we got to shoot around every corner. You're lucky, dude. No! Right, there's bros coming out. What's here? The jank creature, welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. The tunnel is closed off. And almost happy new year. How's it going, man? Window. No vacancy, buddy. Die then. All right, we need to destroy that power box. Uh, gamers are a bumbling mess, but they have bumblebee vests. Nice wordplay there. Bumblebee. Oh my god, the door killed me. Of course the door killed me. Alright. I don't expect anything less. Yeah, what's a game without a door killing me? What's a game I play without a door killing me? It simply opened and then I get fucked up. <laughs> when doors attack. <laughs> Pretty much. Gotta watch those pieces of wood with brass, yo. Also, 69 health. Not anymore. <laughs> There's the door. But I'm sh Where will you jump off a cliff? Yeah, when doors kill me. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it! Or jump off the cliff with a door. That would be a way of, like, curing your... your phobia to random door attacks. Take the door with you. 
Oh my god! <laughs> it happened again! Door boarding! I don't mean to do this, by the way. It's just happening. Ah. Uh. The door just likes killing me, that's all. How <laughs> door boarding. I'm sure there's a thing somewhere in the world. Get wrecked, buds. God damn. Oh my eye! Alright, save. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. What does she think I'm gonna do? Dodgy business. Okay. Ooh. Nothing. Empty room. Empty room. I could get on the roof there, but there's no point. I'm gonna keep heading upstairs. And then we shall see. Alright, this is top floor. It's a bumbling mess. Whoa, shit. Okay. Hmm. Wait! I thought I already killed that. Or was that in the last save I shot that? Damn nabbit. Alright. Okay, bye! Don't let the door kill you on the way out. Uh... Don't you mean hit? Sure. Or like, jib you on the way out. Because you essentially just get jibbled by doors in this game. <laughs> like, harvested. Doors don't give a fuck. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Chin Fu. And happy holidays. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Shogo... Mo mobile Armor Division. I'm talking over everyone's voices in game though. I bet you do a door massacre playthrough, bait enemies to doors and smack. Most probably, man, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, where am I going here? Pretty good. I'm doing good, man. Thanks for asking. Uh, this is my first stream back in a while. I've been busy with uh, Christmas stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's been good, man. Good celebrations and thingies all round. Lots of family, which I am now tired of and need a break. Also, can't platform for shit. What did you do for Christmas Day, Chin? <coughs> okay, let me get back to where I was. And Chin Fu, thank you very much for the 23 months resub. Really appreciate that, man. I know why text-to-speech isn't going off, but... Thank you for the ongoing support. Ah, we destroy these. Okay. So the fans stop going. I don't, don't think I want to jump out the window there. Maybe I do. Sort of just dead end. Eating? Me too. I ate so much. A lot of salad and breads and, uh, what else? Trifle? 
Trifle is like sponge and custard and fruit salad and cream. Really good. About fucking time. Finally got legendary. You won it after like 70 tries. Congrats, Chief. Happy for you. Now, on to the next thing, but I'm guessing you want to sleep now. So, uh, go and get some rest, undisputed. Or some well-deserved rest, rather. All right, let's go in the water. Oh, we got super. It's worth getting the power up. Get wrecked. Hey, Skyrick, welcome to the stream. The sound effects game, like, really pop. That gun sound effect, very pew pew. Yes. Also, Merry Christmas, Scar. Good to see you, man. You should. Been trying on and off since noon for this shit. Yeah, GG, dude. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, this is Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Uses the Lift Tech Engine. Based on the anime by the same name. Oh, so that's speed cheat in Unreal 2. You have to re-enter at each new level each time you boot back into the game. Oh, that sucks, dude. Yeah, old school cheats work like that, unfortunately, creature. They got some cheapness to them. Excuse me, ma'am. You control that electrical fence? As a matter of fact, yes. Could you turn it off for me? Tell you what, I'll turn off the electricity if you if you'll find my kitty. She ran off. Your kitty? She likes to hide in the building by that box. Doesn't say very scuffed. Kind of reminds me of Torok. Only come to you if yeah. You have her toy, so you'll have to find it first. Did it just crash? No. Did I save it? All right, that was a weird crash. That's actually the first crash in the stream. Um, it's not like Turok, though the graphical style is similar. Okay, put closed. Let's try that again. A <laughs> sussy Christmas look. Yeah, Twitch chat is really sensitive to that, isn't it? But yeah, it sort of uses a simple anime style to it, this game. That's what Lith Tech were going for anyway. And, uh, it works. It's a really well done shooter with a, a critical hit system. But it is scuffed in aspects. That's the uh, Christmas Rule 34. Ooh. Yeah, don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Not that I have. Disclaimer, I have not. <laughs> Alright. We saved the lady. We should probably save ourselves, because we might run into another crash. Hopefully it doesn't crash in the same spot. Also, how far in Unreal 2 are you, uh, creature? In the 2, Unreal 2. It is kind of a long game, heads up. Excuse me, ma'am. You All control right. that electrical fence? As a matter of fact, yes. Could you turn it off for me? Tell you what, I'll turn off the electricity if you if you'll find my kitty. She ran off. Your kitty? She likes to hide. Heckled off, off you made your disclaimer. Good. She'll only come to you if you have her toy, so you'll have to find it first. It's probably somewhere in the building. All right, we need to find a kitty cat toy. So we need to go. Back to her headquarters. Or into her headquarters. I'm here for your entertainment. Let's 
Go. Ah, uh, you just thought the game looks familiar than you saw at Shogo. Didn't expect such a common game. Yeah, uh, this game, it recently got a repack patch where it's like 1920 by 1080 support and it runs really well. So I can set my camera up like this. Uh, this is my third time playing through this game. I have streamed it before, Chin. Hey, Max, welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you. Has anyone here heard a game called Dead to Rights? Yes, Max. Uh, I've only played the Game Boy Advance version. Just a little bit, though. Talking about Unreal, mind your tribes, brothers, moving, getting rid of stuff. He's got a copy. Yeah, tribes is that Unreal-esque tournament first-person shooter. Where you're, like, outdoors and you got, like, the jump jets and stuff. You're told it's a Max Payne clone, just wondering if anyone's here's played it with a download. Uh, yeah, Creatures played it. Um, didn't it come out on PS2? I've only played the Game Boy Advance version, which probably runs very different from the PS2, like the original. Uh, Mrs. Hadam's cat is somewhere in the building. You'll have to find its squeaky toy before it will come to you. Run down facilities such as this are ideal lairs for stragglers men and woman whose sanity has been eroded by the harsh conditions of Cronus and the constant, excuse me, rigors of cadre harvesting in packs. They can be dangerous. Uh, last you ever remember playing it, it felt like a fusion of Max Payne and Serious Sam put together. That's a weird combo, Wolf. Dead to Rights Retribution was your first Dead to Rights game. Is that the second one, Creature? I'm guessing. Don't ask. Also, I don't know if there's a PC port of Dead to Rights. I'm not really familiar with the series, uh, aside from the GBA. Okay, we're losing health in there. Oh, you think the fourth? Holy shit. Okay, that series goes on for a bit then. God dang. Ow, also. Apparently it's about a cop and his dog. Yeah, yep. Uh, as it implies on the front cover. It looks cool, to be honest. Oh, I hear the cat. So... We need to find this lady's cat. Here, pussy pussy. Here, kitty kitty pussy. Do not be afraid. Meow. Mangy cat. Turner and Hooch of Dead to Rights games. You're not wrong. Woo! Holy shit! That worker was shooting at me as well. Okay, is this a loop round level? Hell yeah it is. Go and save, because you can die in literally split seconds in this video game. Oh, there's the cat! <laughs> look at the, look at the JPEG cat. It looks terrifying. <laughs> anyway. Shut up! Oh. 
Shit! Now to finish your teething off to bed. Okay, Chief. Thanks for stopping in, man. Good to see you. And, uh... Rest up, man. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you in the next one. I'll probably be back on tomorrow. Um, I gotta hop off real soon. But, uh... I'll be back to my regular schedule tomorrow. Regular program. I'll be streaming a lot more over the holidays. Been the pro tag with the dog combo. Pretty good combo. Worked for Mad Max. Okay, let's find this damn toy for the cat. Get out of here. Where are we going? Something, something in here? You'll work while you have your tea, but been trying to hang in here on streams I like used to. Just been such BS. Yeah, I, I 100% understand, Chief. These are trying times, uh, especially till the end of the year. Damn, that cat is annoying. Yeah, I'm trying to find its toy, Chin Fu. Somewhere around here, anyway. But I agree, it's constantly in my ear, like, shut up. I'll find your toy. I've forgotten where it was, though. Which is the issue. Okay, <laughs> uh, dude. I always get lost on this section. Surely there's something here. Hello? Well, there's like a hole in the ground or something I swim through? Meow. Oh boy. Right game, just... Just find it for me, otherwise... It's gonna drive me up the wall. See, no ZP is a game makes me want to replay Dark Forces 2. Good game, by the way. Hard as shit, though, because it's such a mazy... Such a mazy game. Satisfying gameplay. Alright, there's the cat. I don't have its toy, though. I know where the cat is. Meow. Just feed it a bumblebee vest. Yep. That would solve all life's problems. Okay. I at least want to finish this uh, part before I have to hop off. So, I'm going to try my best here. Okay, this is the entrance. Okay. 
God damn. What kind of tea are you drinking, chief? It's gotta be down here. I, I feel like I've explored everything. Is it under the stairs? No. Behind your frickin' toy, you dumb cat. Probably something really obvious. Meow. Meow. <laughs> All right. Lemon honey something. Sounds good enough. I had some uh, lemon and ginger tea earlier. It was really nice. Uh, excuse me game? I, I feel like I'm being trolled. Not the first time Monolith is pulling this shit on me. Did try a different ginger one? Um, I actually got a box of tea for Christmas. I'll grab it. Ginger plum spice, nice. Uh, I got Tulsi Chai Masala Tea. It smells really good, like... There are the packets there. Like, Indian tea. I might have some. You can have milk with it. Or you can have it in, like, black tea form. But yeah, it's, uh... Stress relieving and rejuvenating. Uh, it's just what I need. Ah, uh, I got it as a Christmas present, Max. So, I have no clue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the fuck are we going? I feel like I'm just being led in circles. Man, there's like nothing up here. That kitty cat won't shut up. <laughs> uh, you're out of your proper English teas. Need to restock, they have plenty of herbal and some uh, Ven- Venetai and Tiramisu, nice. That, uh, does sound delicious. Alright, get you your damn toy, you stupid cat. And then, uh, then I gotta call it quits after this. Meow. Pretty sure it's down here, though. Like, no doubt. Oh, yum! It's a chocolate one with cocoa. That does sound pretty amazing. Alright, and not a second goes by. We're... I'm still stuck.
Come on, dude. So, this mission kind of sucks. As you can see. Retrieve the cat. But I also have to find the toy. Don't I? I'm guessing I just have to drop on the cat. I was looking for a toy all this time, but I'm pretty sure... You give the toy to the cat to lure it out. That's what I remember anyway. Meow. Hey Kappa Cow, welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Playing some Shogo Mobile Armor Division. Lothtech game. We're just figuring out how to get this cat out of the space. Whatever happened in the new Perfect Dark game? Guess it's stuck in development hell. Yeah, just like everything else, Max. It's kind of sad. Just remember seeing a trailer for it and E3 or something that disappeared. Yeah, I've only played Perfect Dark Zero and... A little bit of the original Perfect Dark. I wonder if you can shoot the cat. Sorry, no time for pussy. Oh shit, no time for pussy. Alright, we're not gonna kill the cat. It's just cruel. Devs are proud of that joke. No time for pussy. Rip Mr. Whiskers. But he's so annoying because I can't find this toy. Where is it? I'm literally going insane. Uh... Please, game. Go easy on me. Maybe after Doom, uh... Oh, this game doesn't have an action key? Or an action button? You just sort of bump switches? It's a little like Quake. How you just bump switches and stuff activates. Oh my god. Alright, game. You win. How is this so difficult? Like, I'm just trying to find a damn toy, man. I always get stuck on this mission no matter what, because my mind forgets. Bumbling mess to drown out the meows. Not wrong! Ugh. It crashed. Ah, uh, anyway. I, I gotta stop. But, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. That was Shogo Mobile Armor Division. We got through a fair chunk. 
We just gotta find that damn cat toy to give to bloody whiskers. But, uh, yes, thank you all for watching. Uh, I know it's been a few days, but, uh, I will be returning tomorrow, hopefully. You had to drink tea and sleep, and you're all out of tea. No worries, Wolf. Thank you very much, everyone, for stopping in. And following and lurking and raiding and subbing and bitting. Good night indeed. But yeah, hope you all had a Merry Christmas. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Um, you too, Chin Fu. We're going to raid out to someone. There's a few people on. I think Mr. Suffer is awake. The core is still online. Avuzel is doing Descent 2. I'll just do some shout outs here. Hydrate indeed. I might even have a cup of tea. But yes. Uh, as of two hours ago, Legion Necros for the raid. Thank you. Wolf for the raid. Also, thank you very much. Imagine being vaxxed, lol, for the follow. Retro Bear with the raid. Thank you, thank you. He's probably asleep by now. Duck something 11 with the follow and Jin Fu with the resub of 23 months. You got a sampler for X uh, Christmas as well? Nice. Uh, what sampler did you get? Anyway, I'm going to raid out to someone. And, uh, tomorrow, we're gonna find the damn cat, hopefully finish Shogo Mobile Armor Division, and then move on to the next game. All kinds of herbal? Nice, dude. Yeah, herbal is the way to go. It's, it's comforting. Um, now, just wondering who to raid... You know what? We might just go to McCaw45. He's a good dude. Big Aussie streamer. Uh, he's doing a Christmas marathon of fantasy action. So, let's all go and say hello. Uh, I'm going to hang out for a bit and then... Um, that's me. Okay. Thank you, guys. And, uh, have a good morning, evening, etc. Salute, and ciao. See ya. Raid right out.